Hey guys, I just wanted to show off a really quick invention. It's really cool. It is a villager powered light sensor. Uh, this is only working in the new snapshots where there is a an improved villager AI. Uh, so this should work in newer Minecraft versions uh, including 1.2. Basically this works because a villager will either go inside his house at night or go outside in, during daytime. Now, during daytime it can also go back inside and we need to be able to prevent that. So what I used was the um, strange behavior where mobs would spin around when they're up here. Basically they kind of have no clue what's going on when they're on top of a, a not full block. So I tried it out with a half slab and it worked but sometimes it went back down so I wanted to make sure all of the others uh, worked um, and see if any of them were better. So I tried enchantment tables, those didn't work at all. I tried trap doors. Um, they didn't work at all, and they also were powered by redstone, so that was bad. Uh, soul sand didn't work, obviously, and encha enchantment tables were too big, so the villagers could just hop over. Uh, I ended up choosing the bed. So far, the bed's been the most reliable, uh, and it's not that hard to make, so I decided that would be a good one. I have a clip prepared uh, that'll show you this light sensor in action. But before I do that, I'm going to just do a quick uh, testing demo. So I'll just turn it to midnight. Instantly senses it. Turn it to uh, midday. almost instantly censors it. Um, that time it didn't work exactly how I planned it to. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, midnight again. I've, I've found the uh, nighttime it works the quickest when you change it to it, but with daytime uh, over normal Minecraft time it'll go quicker uh, they'll sense the daytime faster than night. And there it goes. So, as you can see, it's very reliable and very quick. Uh, much better than the grass regrow light sensor and much easier than the grass regrow light sensor that Etho made. So, here's the clip. Uh, after that, I'll show you how to make it, even though I'm sure you guys could make it yourselves. Uh, so, here you go. So to start off, you're going to need a villager. I'm naming mine Jimmy. Once you have your nice little villager, you need to build him a home. So, start off with a wall. Just a block. And then face the, the way your villager would be facing if you were looking at the door. Place it and place blocks to the side and one above it, it. Once you're done with that, extend this wall two blocks in both directions and you can cap it off on the edges. Once that's done, wait until it's night and then connect your nice little house to your villagers cage. You should start running towards it. Wait till he gets in. Cap it off. You can delete the excess blocks. And then 
you need to wait for him to get accustomed to his little house. Uh, at some points, he doesn't want to uh, think of it as a house. Uh, so you just need to wait. Um, at this point, you can just stick in a bed. Uh, pressure plate beside that bed. And then one on the very edge of the inside. Uh, after that's done, just put redstone next to each pressure plate. Uh, dig down two blocks in front of the door and then one to the right. Place redstone torches in alternating directions. And then fill the rest in with redstone dust. And that's just an RS NOR latch, uh, a, simple, a simple memory latch. Um, basically saying if the villager stepped on this plate, it's uh, daytime, and if it's this one, it's nighttime. And that doesn't change, even if the villager could get off of that pressure plate. Uh, after that, you can just hook up your light source, and your light sensor should be done. Uh, this doesn't need to be just a light source, it can be anything uh, as long as you hook it up to one of these outputs uh, or even both. Uh, so that's it. Um, it's very simple. I hope you guys enjoy this and make this in your worlds. Uh, have a nice day.